guys, I'm here in the Whaling Caverns and I'm fixing to do three trash pet battles. And what I'm using is Dire Beak Hatchling, Sharp Talon Hatchling, and Snow Feather Hatchling. I'm starting off with Dark Beak Hatchling and I'm going to use my Iron Skin, followed by Falcosaurus Swarm. And then I'm going to use Predatory Strike. And finish him off. His other pets are going to come out. I'm going to use Falcosaur Swarm. Place my iron skin back on. Falcosaurus swarm again. And that's pretty much going to finish that one off as well. The third little pet comes out. I'm going to use Falcosaurus swarm. followed by Predatory Strike. So basically we're just using the, these three pets right here just to do all three of these um, trash, pet, trash pets. I can't talk, I'm sorry. So now we're on the next one. And I'm still using the same one, so I'm going to open up with Iron Skin again. Falcosaur Swarm. and Predatory Strike, just to finish him real quick. Falcosaurus Swarm again on the next little pet that comes out. I'm going to place my Iron Skin on again. Falcosaurus Swarm again. You can kind of see the rotation that I'm doing right here. Iron Skin, Palcosaur Swarm, Predatory Strike. And I'm going to do Palcosaur Swarm on the third little pet that comes out. And then a Predatory Strike to finish him off. So that's our second um, trash pets right now. We're going on to the third. Still using the same pets that I'm using. Put iron skin on. Then Falcosaurus Swarm. And after our Falcosaurus Swarm is done, we're going to do the Predatory Strike and finish him off. The next little pet that comes out, Falcosaurus Swarm. And you can see our other two pets that we have in slot two and three has not been touched yet, has not been called out yet. 
And we're putting Iron Skin back on. And then back to Palkasaurus Swarm. Predatory Strike. And that finished that one off. So now we're going on to our first boss. A little clip of the pets that I used in this battle right here on all the trash pets. Now for the first boss, Son of Scum, I used the Sharp Talon Hatchling, the Dream Whelpling, and the Emerald Proto Whelp. Focusaur Swarm, Wild Winds, and Predatory Strike for the Sharp Talon Hatchling. So I'm going to start the fight. My first move I am going to use, I believe, let's see here. Falcosaur Swarm. Followed by a Predatory Strike. And then Wild Winds. And Falcosaur Swarm again. And the wild winds if I can get that off now I'm gonna call out my dream whelpling I'm going to use emerald presence followed by emerald bite and Emerald Bite again. Then I'm going to put my Emerald Dream on. Emerald Bite. Emerald Presence. And Emerald Bite. Now I'm going to put Emerald Dream on to heal myself. And then go back to Emerald Bite until he is defeated and Emerald Bite again. And that takes care of the first boss pet right there. It opens up to move on to the next stage. Okay, I believe this is Fixia, and I'm going to be replacing my top one only with the Dark Moon Tonk. So don't worry about changing the Emerald Proto Drakes and the Dream Whelpling at the bottom. Just keep them. Everything will be fine. I'm using Missile, Shock, and All, and Lock On. So my first move, I'm going to use Lock On. Followed by Shock and All. And then Lock On again. And then I'm just going to keep using my Missile until this um, pet is taken care of. Now the next little pet that came out, I'm just going to missile 
I'm going to just keep missiling as much as I can. And I probably should have missiled right there, but I used shock and all. But that's okay. And just keep missiling because there's no sense in doing lock on. You're going to die anyway. Now bring out your Emerald Proto Welt. You're going to use Emerald Presence. And you're going to use Emerald Bite. Emerald Bite again. Then Emerald Dream to heal yourself. Emerald Bite, Emerald Bite again, and that should take care of it. Now we're moving on to the next one. Okay. Okay, on this one I have my Blood Gazer Hatchling with Slicing Wind. Falcosaur Swarm and Predatory Strike, and I still kept my Emerald, Proto Whelp, and Dream Whelpling. So I'm starting out with Falcosaur Swarm. Predatory Strike. And Slicing Wind. Next pet is coming out. I'm using Falcosaurus Swarm. Okay, I'm going to call out my Emerald Proto Drake, Proto Whelp. I'm going to put Emerald Presence on, followed by Emerald Bite, Emerald Bite again, and basically you're just making sure that your Whelpling's um, health don't get too low. I did another Emerald Bite just to knock him out real quick. Okay, now we're moving to the next one. getting closer. Okay, on this one I'm going to be using my Iron Scarlet, still keeping the Emerald Proto Whelps and everything. I'm going to use my Wind Up, Toxic Smoke, and Supercharge on my Iron Scarlet. Let's get this going. My first move I am going to be using my wind up. Then supercharge. And then wind up again. And that should take care of the first one. Second little one that's coming out. Wind up. I really should have just used Toxic Smoke there instead of using Wind Up, but it is what it is. When I came back to life, I used to Toxic Smoke just to put a dot on him and then Supercharge. Now I'm going to bring out one of my Emerald Proto Whelps or Dream Whelpling, doesn't matter which. I'm going to put my Emerald Presence on followed by an Emerald Bite. At any time your health gets kind of low here, use your Emerald Dream just like I did right here. And then an Emerald Bite to finish him off. 
and make sure that you put your emerald presence on anytime it's getting close to it being needed, which I did here, emerald presence. Go back to emerald bite. And emerald bite again, just to get rid of them. And we're done. We're moving on up. <laughs> I guess I was happy there. A little jump jump. So let's continue on our journey. We are getting so close. So, so close. Okay, now for this one that's coming up, I'm going to switch things around. I'm going to use my Snow Feather Hatchling with Falcosaur Swarm, Crouch, and Predatory Strike. I'm going to also use my Little Bling with um, Smack That, Extra Plating, and Make It Rain. And we're still going to use one of our Dream Well Blings. We're going to keep that there still. And we're going to start off with um, Crouch. And then we're going to use Falcosaur Swarm. And predatory strike and then back to Falcosaurus swarm again he's gonna kill us that's okay we're gonna bring out our little bling we're gonna put our extra plating on Actually, no, I didn't. I just went ahead and smacked him just to get rid of him. Then you want to put your extra plating on. Then just keep smacking. Just give him the smack down over and over. We're just smacking them. Until the last one comes out. And then we're just going to smack again. We'll put our plating back on. Our extra plating back on. Um, just for the little protection. And back to smacking again. And so this one should be done. And now we can move on some more. Wailing Karens is pretty, pretty fun. All these green little spore thingies right here, you want to run into because they actually make you run faster. So you'll notice that I'm kind of waiting around or, you know, running into them. Just so I can move a little bit faster. Because this little gnome's legs are so short. She doesn't move quite as fast. Okay, on this one, I'm going to be using my Stormborn Whelpling, Nexus Whelpling, and of course, keeping the Dream Whelpling. We're going to be using Tail Sweep, Mana Surge, and Arcane Storm on both the Stormborn and the Nexus Whelpling. And like I said, we're still keeping the dream well bling. So let's get this battle going. And really what I should have did here is I should have just kept tail sweeping um, after I put Arcane Storm on. But no, not me. I want Arcane Storm, then Mana Surge. But it all worked out anyway. But I think the tail sweeping would have would have gotten him down a lot better.
but that's okay. We're going to bring out our necklace whelpling and we're going to tell sweep and just keep tail sweeping. And he's down, the little ooze guy. Now his next pet comes out and I'm going to use Mana Surge. I got one big hit in, but I died. Now I'm bringing out my Dream Whelpling, putting on my Emerald Presence, then a bite just to get rid of him. And a third little dude's going to come out. I'm going to go ahead and do my Emerald Presence or Emerald Dream. I'm sorry. Need to get my health back. Then I'm going to put my Emerald Presence on. And then back to bite. Bite again. I'm going to go ahead and put Emerald Dream on to heal myself. Don't want to take a chance. This is my last pet alive right now. <laughs> and then back to bite. And that is taken care of. Moving on up. Okay, so this one I'm going to be using my Scourged Whelpling with Shadow Flame, Death and Decay, and Plagued Blood. I'm going to use one of my Dream Whelplings and in my third slot, Terra Claw Hatchling with Alpha Strike, Dodge, and Nature's Ward. I probably should have put my Terra Claw Hatchling in my second slot, but I kind of goofed up a bit, a bit here, but it still worked out, so no biggie. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, Plagued Blood on first. and then Shadow Flame. He's gonna kill me pretty quickly, but that's okay. Shadow Flame again if I can. And then Plagued Blood just to give that dot off real quick. So here is where I switched to my Dream Whelpling. I should have went with the Terra Claw Hatchling, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and put on my um, Emerald Presence, then Emerald Bite, Emerald Dream just to heal myself. Then back to Emerald Bite, Emerald Presence, and Emerald Bite, Emerald Dream to heal myself if I could, but I couldn't, so now our Terra Claw came out. We're going to use Dodge, then Alpha Strike. Nature's Ward. Oops, nope. We used Alpha Strike again. Then Nature's Ward. Then back to Alpha Strike. We're going to put our Dodge on. Alpha Strike, and that should finish him, the second little pet. 
Now the third pet's going to come out. We're going to Alpha Strike. And then we're going to put our um, Nature's Word back on. Alpha Strike. As soon as Dodge comes up for us to use it, we'll use Dodge. And back to Alpha Strike again until he is defeated. And that took care of him. So, here we go. The final stage, last boss. Everybody's been waiting for. Yes. So close now. Alright, here I'm going to be using my Zandalari Knee Biter, my Zandalari Ankle Biter, and my Crystal Spider. And you want to use Hunting Party on both Zandalari's Black Claw, Blood Fang, Leap, and the Crystal Spider Strike, Brittle Webbing, and Leech Life. We're going to start off with the Zandalari Knee Biter. And we're going to use Black Claw in the beginning. And then Hunting Party right after. Then we're going to use Blood Fang. And refresh the black claw again. Then we're going to pass. Use blood claw again. Or, yeah, black claw. <laughs> I don't know why I said blood claw. Then we're going to use our blood fang. And that should defeat him. Now we're going to use Hunting Party. And we're going to die, but that's okay. We're going to bring out our Zandalari Ankle Render. We're going to use Black Claw. Hunting Party. He's going to bring his third little pet out, and we're just going to go ahead and leap, since we know we're probably going to die anyway. Now here comes our crystal spider. I'm going to go ahead and use my brittle webling, followed by a leech life. And then I'm just going to keep striking him. And yay, we did it. We are done. You can just turn around. You're going to jump off the side here. Hopefully you have a bubble or levitate or slow fall or something. Or just hop down, you know safely. Then you're going to talk to her and ask her to, you know, that you're ready to leave Wailing Caverns. She will port you back to where you started to turn in your quest and everything and get your loot. So yeah, I hope this helps. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of things I could have done differently, but this is pretty much my setup and... You have a great day. Bye, guys.